Level 3 Applied Business course. So what is Level 3 Applied Business? Well, it's a WJC Level 3 Applied Business course, and it is graded A star to E, so the same as a traditional A level. Uh, this certainly is an alternative to the normal ASA2 business course, and it's targeted at those students who excel at vocational subjects. It will is a very, very similar in content to the AS and A2 business. However, the key difference is that students will only complete two exams over the whole two years, rather than four exams over the traditional A level. So if you are a student that struggles in examinations or you are very good at the vocational side of, of schooling in terms of you like doing coursework, this certainly might be the course for you. It's run by the WJC and it will prepare any student for the world of work and enterprise. And it's an excellent basis for a career or university degree course in business, finance or the social sciences. Certainly, I think it's a wonderful course uh, if you are thinking about going to work in a real life organisation uh, when you leave university and, uh, and or be, start your own company as well. So why choose the level three applied business? Well, at some point, you're going to have to go to work in an organisation when you leave either school or university. And I think if you understand how an organisation works and how the decision making by the management works, I think you're in a much better position when it when it comes down to getting a, an interview and, and succeeding in that interview. Uh, and what we do within the course is uh, really an underpinning of the major aspects of that are covered within business. More details of this in a few moments time. So the structure of the course is over four units over two years. In the first year, year 12, you'll be doing a two hour examination uh, on the organization survival and prosperity. And that's worth 25% of your course. In that will be topics such as the type of ownership and of, of how to start a company, enterprise, how to plan an organization, what the departments of a company do, how to ensure the quality of whatever you produce is excellent, how businesses use ICT, and also about how they recruit and train their workforce. Also then, you will be doing a piece of coursework, and that's worth 25% in year 12. And this is simply active marketing. It's the marketing unit about the four Ps of the marketing mix, the product, price, promotion, and place, and making sure that companies are able to, to, to research the market and sell to the market effectively. And that's all done on coursework. Then in year 13, you have another exam to do, the organisational strategy and decision making, more about how you would make decisions within the organisation if you're a manager. And that's worth 25% of your final mark. And then finally in year 13, as maybe in other subjects you are uh, getting ready and revising for the exams, you're simply doing a, another piece of coursework called markets and customers. So as you can see there, it's only two exams over the whole of the course in the whole two years, just one exam per year. The entry requirements within the Level 3 Applied Business um, are that you do not have to have studied GCSE business or have done retail business to be accepted on the course. All that we ask is that you've got a general interest in the subject and that you've got a minimum of five GCSEs A star to C or you've got a level two pass qualifications. If you've got mostly C profiles, you'll probably do quite well on this course. Um, and also we would probably accept a minimum of a grade C in either English language or English literature because you are gonna have to write in the exams and obviously um, uh, and uh, have to explain yourself in pieces of coursework. So what's next? Well, uh, Business is certainly a huge area within university. Um, it's a case of all, as far as I'm aware, all universities offer business courses. So it's a case of just choosing the one that you'd like to do so. So uh, one purpose of the level three business qualification is to support access to higher education. So if you're thinking about maybe doing marketing or marketing management, retail management, marketing with digital communications, business, international business management, finance, or even business finance, all of these university courses, uh, you would do very well if you've studied the level three applied business course. Of course, if you want to go off and leave and go off and get a job, then certainly it's an underpinning, particularly within the retail business sector. 
So if you're thinking about working in retail business, I think this will really, really help you um, gain the skills required largely to working in an organization such as that or become management in uh, those uh, areas of industry. Like the sound of level three applied business, um, you need to know probably that what will go well with it. Well, uh, if, you've, if you're doing travel and tourism or geography or history or ICT or foreign languages, those subjects usually would fit very, very well with this subject. So some golden nuggets, a bit of advice that we uh, we've, would give out. So from us, the staff, is that those who've studied business claim they were more prepared for job interviews because they understood how the organization worked and the role of many of the departments. But the students would always argue that the course is very well organized. They say that all their resources are handed out to them every lesson and they feel very supported by their teachers. Um, so students, students argue that they enjoy discussing real business problems uh, that are mentioned in the news and also they like thinking about their own solutions. If you want any further information about Level 3 Applied Business, you can find the information on the website below.